Hello everyone, Cap here and welcome to Backpack Survivors. This game is a mix of Bullet Heaven Roguelite and inventory management a la Backpack Heroes or Backpack Battles. If after watching this you want to check it out for yourself, the demo version of this is going to release tomorrow, Saturday the 28th, and yeah, I'm leaving the link down below. Alright, let's get into this. And uh, let's start fresh. I did one. Uh, yeah, 13 minutes total, n nothing. Basically, I just wanted to check it out. Alright, uh, here we go. Uh, there's some story going on, um, how you find this fortress, and yeah, it's fine though. Um, we go into a run. So, this is our hub, and there are some ghost uh, kind of uh, things going around here. So, some, some people, or some creatures, whatever all of this is. And then also some, yeah potential shops or other sort of upgrade areas for the future which we will unlock over time i assume and we go in here though to start the run let's go and we go the hero's journey and yeah everything is basic and first time completion we get the hero sword okay then let's go welcome to the backpack and shop wow this is your backpack area. It's small now, but you can make it bigger. Fill it with bags and fill those with weapons and items. There's actually voiceover. Here you can buy bags, items and weapons to increase your power. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's skip everything. It's fine though. Um, I was confused for a second. I, I played this like two or three days ago, but I think there was a big patch in the meantime because a couple of things are already different. Um, so let's get started here. And um, this is, yeah, the shop area. Uh, this is our backpack here. However, right now we can't put anything inside. To actually make use of this area, you need to put some sort of bag inside first. And then inside that bag, you can put items like this wooden practice sword right now. Or also here, the key to the final fortress is a trinket, rare item, gives health, armor, base damage. And the start item gains 25% damage. And you can turn with mouse wheel and then oop, now it's attached to this basically and boosting the damage of this sword so yeah um here in shop we can buy some more stuff what do we have here uh this is very cheap but also quite big to we'll try the whip or we go for a dagger i want another weapon here for now, I think weapons are probably the most important just to get some damage and then start killing stuff and that's fine for now. We could reroll and everything, but let's just get started with the run. Alright, we get teleported into the area here, into the run area, where we need to battle. And here we go. This is us, and we are here in the yeah, bullet heaven type of gameplay now. Uh, there are not a lot of enemies at the beginning, but they are spawning, and it will get kind of chaotic very soon. Uh, for now though, yeah, we just run around, kill stuff with our weapons here. The dagger is shooting at range, getting thrown at range, and the sword kind of slashes in a bigger area. And when enemies die, we pick up or we get gold on the ground and we can pick it up and we use that gold to buy new stuff in the shop. And yeah, as you can see, WSD movement, um, dash is in this game as well, and the weapons are auto-aiming and auto-attacking, so nothing to do there, classic bullet heaven type of stuff. And we have this indicator here telling us there's an old man on this map, and we gotta go there because that dude is the shop. So, I played a game that basically is the same concept before, uh, called God of Weapons. It is a bullet heaven mixed with this type of inventory management. However, I actually personally didn't like that one all that much. I only played it for a couple of hours total. Um, what I did not like about that game, the combat was wave based and after each wave you went into shop. And then overall it turned out like, I don't know, for me personally the run was like 80% time of the run I spent in the shop and only 20% I actually battled and I didn't like that. Um, it may be good for some people but I don't like that at all. I, I want more combat. And in this game 
uh, you can choose when you go into shop here. So for one, this shop dude has to appear on the map and then you also have to go into the shop um, actively. So you can battle for however long you want and then go into shop once, buy a lot of stuff and then yeah, battle for forever again. I like this concept a lot more personally. Also, what is this? I just saw this for the first time. Unused talent point. How do I use talent points? Okay, I don't know what that means, honestly. I've never seen this before. Also, I can't really click anything. I don't know where I spent talent points. Maybe in town? Not sure yet. Okay, we have 113 gold and there are some new weapons and everything, but we don't have space. We only have two spaces available. This one is, yeah, three spaces. This one as well. Uh, this one is four, like this. We could put this one in and maybe take out the dagger for now. And this is a storage area. You can just chill here or you can sell down here. Um, but let's keep it for now. And maybe we use this here. Magical daggers. It's also throwing. Oh, right. Nice. Okay. Let's go for this. We could reroll, but let's just go into the next shop. It's fine. Let's just kill some stuff. Oh, it's throwing like that. Okay. So, yeah, different types of weapons have different types of attack patterns. There are also some things to do on the map, like this here, a healing pool. You stand inside and then once the circle fills, you get healed. Uh, there's also other stuff, if we can find it. But... Let's not run around too much because when I'm just running away, I'm not picking up gold and I definitely want to pick up gold. So let's try and get in here. And yeah, as you can see already, uh, more enemies. So it's getting kind of crowded kind of quickly. Mm, I guess if you have the correct weapons, you can decimate them fast enough maybe. Also that's healing, I think. The I don't know what that is. I guess that's a healing potion or something on the ground. Hard to tell, really. What is that? Can I get that? Yeah, it's healing. Okay. Um, let's get to the shop now. Wait. Chest. I assume this gives me gold. Also, there's a loot goblin. Okay, yeah, we got like 50 gold from that event there. Uh, this is a loot goblin. Pot of gold. Kill it. Give me. Give me. It's, uh, it keeps dropping gold while we hit it. And also it's dropping a lot more when it's dying. Neat. Every game needs a loot goblin. I approve. Okay, let's get into the next shop. We have a lot of gold. Let's see if we can find some more space for our backpack here. And there's some space. Leather bag, one times three. Uh, let's do that and then put in another weapon probably. This one, Ring of Greed, Pickup Radius, and Extra Coin Chance, requires at least 300 coins. Oh, there's also some synergy stuff like this going on, or some um, conditional stuff. And then we get more piercing if we have 300 coins, interesting. Um, let's get this, and also let's get the ring, put it in here, get some more extra coins, and pick up stuff e more easily. That's a one times one space. I get that. Oh no. And let's just go into the next shop. I feel like the shops appear so fast that rerolling isn't as crazy important, at least so far from what I've noticed. Yeah, there's the next shop already. Our altar. Wait, I kind of want to save that. There's going to be a boss at the end of this stage. And I maybe want to use that for the boss fight. Here we go. One times two. Why is this one 40 gold and the one times one, which is more flexible, is 10 gold? I don't get the pricing of some of these items, to be honest. <laughs> How is this four times as expensive as a one times one bag? Um, anyways. Get another weapon, the wooden sword here. Um, I don't think there's weapon combining going on in this game, not from what I've seen. So... Yeah. In God of Weapons, if I make that comparison again, uh, there was weapon combining going on, not in this one though. What is this? Gem of Turtle? Armor? 
when we have a lot of armor, we also get more base damage. Right. Health armor. Yeah, that's fine. Let's continue. I feel like for now, just trying to get space and weapons should be possibly optimal. Just get all that damage so we kill everything fast. And then get all of the gold. Did that guy... Did I instantly pick up the coins that that uh, pot of gold dropped on death? Or did it not drop any? Wait. Boss is here already. How's the boss here already? That's a speed altar. We. Where's the boss? Here's the boss. Okay. Um, let's go here. Get this. Oh, that's magnet altar. Okay, sure. Get some more gold. Beat the beast waves to continue. Interesting. Up there. Continue the next area, maybe? Uh, wait. I wanted to activate this here. Hey, can we kill this guy? Am I strong enough? Help! Shop time. Um, get this. Simple bow. Another dagger. I guess a dagger. Also space. This one is... Okay, maybe we could do it like this, actually. This. Wait, out of here. This, 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 okay, and we, hmm. anything else? I feel like, um, by the way, our item pool, I think, is kind of limited right now. I think you unlock more items uh, when you level or something. Also, yeah, seven unused talent points. How do I spend these? Not click anything. Alt is details. What does that do? I don't know. I'm pressing Alt. Nothing happens. Not sure. Um, down here, there's like a, yeah, a little preview. There's always an item here. That's uh, not in the game yet. Just so you can have a look, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's... Okay, one reroll. Spend our gold here to be strong enough to actually beat the boss. Stone Greatsword. Hmm. Do we get that? We get more space actually. Also, what is this? Golden plate armor. That's huge. Also gets more coin chance. That's neat. However, I don't really care right now. Yeah, I can't really fit this one. Also, it doesn't seem that great maybe. Oh, actually, I could fit it like this. Let's do that. And be done here for now. Continue. Okay, come here. Ow. Very fast. You gotta dash. Avoid them. And run as fast as this guy is rolling. Also, do you really have to put in that tinnitus? <laughs> Did it just a sound effect after that attack? My ears, man. Okay. Almost got him. Oh, this longsword is uh, spiraling around me. One that I picked up last. Neat. Also, it seems like we can dash through enemies without taking damage. I like that. I, hey, we got him actually. Neat. Received 10 Titan Soul coins or something. Received scales of the beetle, whatever that is. And we get all the gold and everything. Neat. Now what? Who's a relic? Ooh. Uh, living armor. When you get hit, your armor de increases by 25 for 5 seconds. This effect has a 20 second cooldown. Mm, when you attack 10 times, you cause a whirlwind damaging enemies around you for 3 seconds. 
That doesn't sound too bad with a lot of weapons. If health is lower than 50%, all damage is increased by 25%. Uh, I don't want to see Blade Storm, even though this is common. No rerolls. Okay, let's get this one. What now? Oh, we are going into the next area right away. Got it. And now we are fighting orcs, it seems. How, f how long is the range of that whirlwind, though? Is it actually only hitting enemies that are touching me? I'm not sure. Go to the shop, see what we can get here. Ooh, what's this? Pyroclasmic Staff. Fire. I want to see that one. Uh, let's buy that for now. See if we can fit it somehow. Also, let's reroll. I want space. No. There's an axe. Tomahawk, actually. Hmm. What's this? Stormcaller Staff. Okay, Staff build. Lock this. Um, yeah. Wait, we have this here as well. Scales of the Beetle, Trinket Rare, 60 health, 6 armor, 6 spiked. And start items, stats, plus 20% damage. Ooh. Oh man, I need more space. I can't uh, put anything. Would take out some stuff. Okay, I keep this for now and keep this locked. Uh, maybe run reroll. Can we find space? Okay, there's one, <laughs> I guess. One more reroll. It's getting more expensive. Hey, okay, there's two more spaces. Okay, then. How do we do this? Uh, this one is pretty good for being so small. I would want to keep that. Hmm. Maybe take out these for now. Wait a second. Let's rearrange a little bit. I don't want to put these in here. Here though. We we'll put these here. Nothing else fits there if we want to get something boosted. This here. Uh, take this one out for now and put this here. Something like that. Okay, this is crazy boosted now. Getting boosted by this and by this. Let's uh, keep it like this for the moment. Okay, continue. Let's see that fire staff. Oh. I feel like I might have been stronger before. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's healing as well. Are they dropping coins? Where are the coins? Okay, here they are. What's the stuff with all those projectiles, man? Wait, are they even hitting me? I feel like I should have gotten hit already by one of those projectiles. But that didn't really happen. Did I get the Oh my god. I didn't quite finish it and I risked everything to do it. Yeah, I feel pretty weak, honestly. Might uh, swap out that staff again and get those other weapons back in. Oh, magnet. Can I got this. All the coins and let's go to the shop. Okay, I do get hit by projectiles sometimes. Oh, there it is. Much going on. Help. More space. 
Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of damage, but it's also very slow. Hmm. Maybe I'll put this one in here. Get it double boosted. These two here, put this one here, put this one here. Something like that. Tomahawk, let's buy that for now. I want to see that. More space though. Yeah. Space. Magic wand. 1.5 second cooldown. A bit faster. Still though. I take that. Good. Eh, let's get more, uh, more space if we can. What does this do? Speed. Start items less damage but more cooldown reduction. Get space. Ooh. Huge. Wait, where do we put this? Okay, like this. And now we can put this in. Okay, might as well. Oh, huge. Look at this. So many weapons. Okay, now surely we will be strong enough. I definitely okay already notice it right away I feel like these basic wooden swords are very helpful to have multiple they attack so fast and actually take out stuff consistently in a small area healing can you relax with those projectiles so many there's a big projectile oh that's the boss some shaman dude. Hmm. Ow. I'm not fully sure where my hitbox is, to be honest. I feel like some of those projectiles should hit me and then they don't, and others do hit me when I think they shouldn't. <laughs> Get it. Okay, got it. Get out. Stop time. Ooh. More space. Oh man, how do I make this fit now? Uh, yeah. Am I actually going to... Oh, this is a one space. Okay. Oh, this is the three space. Ah, uh, how do I do this? I'm not sure about literally moving everything. I might. Okay, I give up. I'm not doing this. Uh, keep it. Also. There's more potential space here, but it's locked for now. Unlock this space in the Altar of Change, which is uh, meta progression, I think. To get more potential space. Uh, maybe we can do that after this run. And I think I'm actually just looking for two space back now. I don't know what else to do here, to be honest. Let's swap out some of these weapons for something else. Or cooldown. Inscribed on the staff are the letters Vault Key 1. What does that mean? Anyways. The space. That's a 3 slot. Wait. No. Can I? I can. Take this one out. This. And this. Okay. Now we have everything filled. And sell this. Here. Put this here. And get another two slot weapon. Okay. This should be fine. I guess this will be it for now. Let's go. Let's try and not die. Uh, also, how do we get damage in on the boss though? When it's uh, standing around and there are like a trillion enemies. <laughs> that we also need to kill. To even get to the boss. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Kill him. 
but get some damage in at least. Ah, oh, I need to be so close to get the damage in consistently. I'm not sure about this one. Oh, on a side note, I turned off the in-game music. Whatever you're hearing now, I added uh, in post-editing. Because the music isn't that great. It's kind of repetitive and not all that high quality, to be honest. I, I didn't want to listen to it for longer than a couple of minutes. So I turned that off. I don't know. At least I can heal. Could also go into shop, but yeah. Would have to replace something with something else and actually understand what's good. Make a good decision there. I mean, I could ch check if there's some thing legendary or something. Also, stop doing this fire thing that's pushing me away. <laughs> I can't deal damage, it just pushes me away. Rude. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, none of these here. Anything crazy? Ooh, one piercing. More damage and void damage. Affects any start void based weapons. Do I have void based weapons? I don't, right? I don't think so. Nothing here is void. No. Yeah, oh, it's okay. I mean, I could replace this. Get a bit stronger with this here. Plus one piercing. Global, actually. Maybe that's good. And also base damage on something. Who has high damage? Oh, actually, wait, maybe I should put it on low damage, high, uh, fast cooldown. I think Tomahawk hits multiple. Maybe Tomahawk is actually a good target for this as well. So like this. Um, didn't change the number here, but I'm hoping it works. Oh, is the... Fo oh, okay. I think I understand. The base damage also only applies to Void. Because of the text above. Rip. Okay, so it's not really doing anything except plus one piercing global, which might still be good enough. Anyways, let's continue. I thought only the plus 10% void damage part would be... would apply to void only. Okay. Get pumped. We did it, actually. Nice. Whew. Another relic. If health is low, uh, when you get hit, armor. We already saw these two. What is this? When you pick up a health potion, it has a 50% chance of causing an explosion for 25 physical damage. I'm not even sure if that's all that good, to be honest. It is rare. Uh -huh. Yeah, I still pick that. Let's see the explosions, see what they look like. And another area. Is this the final one? I think it was three. It was showing like three state. Oh, that's a boss already. Help. Insta boss. Ooh, look at this. That doesn't fit the game at all. This looks way better than the rest of the game. <laughs> that's cool though. Wait, did I get hit after all? I thought I could dash through projectiles. Maybe not through projectiles, maybe just through enemies. Is there healing or anything on this map or nothing at all? Maybe nothing. Ooh, nothing at all. Don't see anything. Probably not. So let's focus on getting in the damage. 
Beste Boss. What? Oh, that did damage, I guess. The area on the ground. No. Man, he has a lot of HP. He's gotta keep dodging. Yeah. That's a proper boss fight. These time boys. <laughs> Man. Okay. Focus. Oh. I got this. That guy spawned on top of me, rip. I think I took damage. Did I? Maybe. Anyways. Die. Hey, let's go. First try. <laughs> nice. Did not think we would beat this right away. Very cool. Hero sword. Do we have this permanently now? So it's basically our starting weapon. What is that sound? Uh, also, yeah, nice. What else? Damage. Wooden practice sword. <laughs> I told you. 37 DPS. Oh, actually, wait, I had two though. So it combines the DPS, I guess, of both. I had two, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, weird. Okay, wooden practice sword is pretty good. I guess because it's a slashing attack and it's hitting multiple enemies all the time. Alright, we did this. Okay, let's return to town and see meta progression stuff. Hello? <laughs> no! Game, please! Okay, we might have to restart and hopefully we don't lose our progress. Wait! You can reroll it by using this button. Be aware though, the cost increase. I hear this is your storage. Shut up. You can store bags, items, How do I weapons, skip this? There's a... Uh, okay. There's a voice trying to explain to me how the shop works, I think. It's very low. Did I skip it? Okay. Doesn't matter. Rip. Okay, restart. Cool, man. Uh, continue. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I think maybe Des will be watching, and by the time you can play this on Saturday, they will have that fixed. Feedback. Okay, I would need to type in everything. Uh, it's probably uh, probably easier for the devs to just watch this, maybe if they are interested, and then. Uh, I can see where it went wrong. Maybe because it just uh, had that text or had that explanation playing again. How the shop works. Because I skipped it earlier. Maybe that is uh, connected. Uh, anyways, GG's. Yeah, this, uh, this is early. This needs time to cook. I would like to show you what's in town. Maybe I can go on my other save file because I have the town unlocked there. Or something in the town at least. Uh, let's try that for a second before we close this one out. Load game. Get on this one. Wait, no, this one. Load. Does this work now? Nope. Now I bugged everything. GG's. Alright. Um, yeah. Early uh, demo bug here. Uh, however, the general gameplay... <laughs> I still stand by what I said. I think this game, at least once it releases right now, it's... Well, you can see... <laughs> Um, once it actually releases and it's, it's not buggy like this, I will enjoy this personally more than God of Weapons. I, I enjoy how this is handling the shop phase. 
much more um a lot more battle focused overall but yeah as you can see early demo still a bit to cook there for the devs even for this demo still more to cook but also obviously for the release and yeah we will see how that goes anyways <laughs> for now <laughs> this will be it this was backpack what is it called let me check again backpack survivors of course the perfect name for this game and yeah if you want to check it out in hopefully a better state than this here right now uh it is the link is down below and yeah all right thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one take care bye